Macedonia did a 50 year. This is a video response to Team Chav, and this is free video, random video games. Ah, and the way I picked these is I just literally moved my hands around the boxes again and just grabbed them out. So, yeah, the first thing I grabbed out was this it's J Stars Victory Versus Plus. And um, this game's a 3D fighting game, and you've got the characters from JoJo no one likes, save with the boring ones that have ghosts. Uh, Goku, uh, Robo Girl, mm. Kung Fu Jesus, Bald Man, Redhead Sword. <laughs> I don't know a lot of the characters' names. Parrot Man. I don't know why I call him that. I just do. Nin not not Ninja Boy. Uh, yeah. Why are we even in this game, character? <laughs> uh, Moz Hunter Dude Bo 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 Yeah he's the most overpowered dude in the world him Goofy Cop Uh Luffy Yeah I'm gonna give him a stupid name The guy who shares his name with that dance on Tekken <laughs> a, a dude from Saint Seiya uh, no. Yeah there's a lot of guys in this game isn't there and Face from Nick Jr. Do, 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 do. I don't know what he's doing in this game, but there he is. <laughs> See, I want this game. <laughs> You're probably wondering. Yeah, this is a game to celebrate. I don't know. I'm guessing an anniversary of the Japanese comic show and manga show and jump. So yeah, there's lots of characters in this game. Over 50 characters, 32 different series. They're actually like lying there. There's a lot of characters in this game. I don't think it's kind of disappointing. This is the, the actual final boss of this game is well. Rubbish. It's like they didn't put any effort into it whatsoever. In other words, yeah, they didn't even have a real final boss. <laughs> they kind of ran out of time, <laughs> but I'm guessing or something. But yeah, over 50 characters, some are like support characters that just like run across the screen. You know, like you're getting Smash Brothers, like characters like run across the screen, just something stupid. And this version on the Vita, you can only get this physical in Japan and Europe. In America, it's digital only. You can also get this on the, on the PS4. On physical and digital as well. It's the exact same game on both machines. And the game has zero DLC as well, so there's none of that nonsense you have to worry about. So, if you want a physical copy and you've got a Vita, you can easily pick up a European copy and you'll just on even ground so everyone else is playing it because there's zero DLC for this game. Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. I actually did a little review of it a while back when it came out. I'll put a link in the chat to that video you want to watch it yep that's the first one j stars victory versus plus all right next one Ugh. hotel transylvania yeah i bet you never even really had a game did you and yeah now we've got uh frankenstein adam sandler no really it is adam sandler <laughs> and and it's called mavis and a werewolf and a mummy Actually, I don't know who he is, Frankenstein. I don't know! <laughs> Frankenstein's monster, anyway. Yeah, the screenshots of this game are really crap, so I'm sorry about that. Help Mavis in this spooky quest to, to stop Quasimodo serving her friend Jonathan for dinner night. At her 118th birthday extravaganza, monsters, zombies, and boss pubs are an imaginative part of adventure game. So, and that is the cost of special levels only on the Nintendo 3DS. So, what is this game? It's Castlevania, literally. Everyone wanted to play, you know, Metroidvania games. This is one of those. Yeah, this is a Metroidvania. Though it's not got any, like, weapon combat in it. You just hit things with a sword. No, well, you, know, you don't have any swords. You just jump on things on your head in this one. This game is laughably easy, though. I mean, it's softly designed for little kids. <laughs> On the plus side, it's got fairly decent sprite work and it had pretty, pretty short development time for a game of its kind as well. I think it had like about six months or something. It was made by WayForward Technologies and they're the ones who made games like Contra 4 and, and Shantae and a bunch of other good 2D games. So it's actually done by a good developer, despite the fact the cover actually makes the game look kind of cheap and crappy. It's a pretty obscure game, I suppose most people have never heard of it, but there it is, Hotel Transylvania. 
short, but actually, maybe might be worth playing if you can pick it really cheap. Which I'm guaranteeing you probably will. You might be able to find copies of this cheap now because it's not exactly the most popular game in the world. Worth it being picked cheap, really cheap but not worth a lot of money. Right. And the last one, oh, 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 look, it's another fighting game. It's. Well, look, look at this. Once upon a time it must have been in CX on Computer Exchange. Yeah, and this is King of Fighters 12. And, but I got it at Cash Converters for 3 99 And bizarrely enough, the face camera is picking up the barcode of the person's face. So we are witness the rebirth of a king. So yeah, it's a good play more. Da, 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 da. Not much written on the back of the box of this one. So most this is the most disappointing it's King of Fighters game out there. For one simple reason, it's not the graphics, because they're fine. It's that the game was kind of, well, rushed out the door, to say it nicely. And there's a box. There's, there's Ash Crimson looking smug. <laughs> and you don't know, yeah, that is a that is a dude. That's not a chick, by the way. And he's not freckles and looks like a chick, but it's a dude. He's got a voice, a dude's voice as well. So you can see though, we get a nice instruction book. So why do people have problems with this game? It's well, look, look at the menu. You notice, there's not much content. Yeah, arcade versus practice, online gallery marketplace, which is DLC, which isn't that much of. Yeah, this game was terribly rushed out of the door. Is it likely? I mean, yeah, there's plenty of characters and the graphics look great, but here's one thing that people don't like this game. Sorry. The series is well known for having multiple endings and a, and a plot for the story, arcade mode. Well, this game doesn't have any. The game was rushed out that quick, it doesn't have an actual plot for the story mode. So, so what you got is, you, you just get a generic ending, this woman in this hilarious English, vo English voice that sounds like Cookie Mama. Yeah, even better than Mama! <laughs> a really bad Englishy sounding voice, and that's about as much as you get for an ending for this game. And that's what people's disappointed, oh yeah, that and the character Mai Shirinui was in this game. And a lot of people was annoyed about that because she's been in every single King of Fighters game pretty much ever. And this is the one that she wasn't in. Oh yeah, this game also has no final boss. Yes, they didn't even have a, no ending, no proper character endings, no final boss. A lot of people was kind of felt ripped off in the boss game originally. So not many people bought it. So, amusingly enough, this game might actually be worth more years to come than the actual sequel, King of Fighters 13. Which, essentially, is just this game with new backgrounds, <laughs> more characters, and, an actual, and more, more modes, and an actual final boss and endings. In other words, if you really want to play this game, get King of Fighters 13 instead. Well, I think well, that jumps to King of Fighters 14 now on the PS4, but that's, yet again, that's now in fully 3D. So yeah, everyone said Street Fighter 5 is the only arcade game to ever remove all, all single player content style mode. Well, they're wrong because King of Fighters 14 did it. Not 14. King of Fighters 12 did it years before Capcom did the thing. Also, this game is laughably small on a hard drive. I mean, I think this game on a hard drive takes up like 700 MB. That's the entire game installed on 360 as well. Oh, yeah. I just haven't checked something. What's the chance I've only got an instruction book? Why is it? No. Why does it bother imprinting them? No, it's not destruction book, never mind. It doesn't have one. That's funny, man. So thank you, me. Yeah. Yep, so. There was the. Ow! Bang the ass table. That's not pretty clever. And there was the. The free game. Free random games I picked for, for Team Shav's video response. J Stars Victor vs Plus, a fun game. Auto Transvania, fun but incredibly easy and short, so I won't put much for it. And Hidden Your Fighters 12, kind of fun but. Well, it's still fun but it's kind of disappointing how little there was in the game. Alright, so. Thank you for watching! Bye bye!